Resilient Best describes champion trotter Speeding Spur. From the start of his career, Speeding Spur raced at an elite level. He is a nine-time Group 1 winner. Very few horses can lay claim to have a career that was brilliant from start to finish. What made him such a great racehorse was his willingness to win, something very few horses have. Um, when the chips were down, he was still giving 110%. And, um, he had a lot of qualities, but that was just such a high aspect of his racing. Delboy's best win probably was a four-year-old um, when he won the Great Southern Star. That was pretty tough. He had to park up in a 53 mile and, and he just got beat in the heat. And then he came out two hours later and won the final, beat all the um, older trotters. And that was pretty tough doing as a young horse. Speeding Spur got out. Speeding Spur's challenging and Speeding Spur. What a win. Speeding Spur's won it. My favourite win with him um, has to be the Road Cup, I think. It's one of the pinnacles of trotting in New Zealand, along with the Dominion. Um, he could sprint and he could stay and he won, won a classic two mile race. That was pretty special, that one. From Temporale, Monty Python, Le Monde, in high knot and it's speeding spare, he draws away. And this champion square gate is seven group one, speeding spur for the Row Cup. Yeah, I think speeding spur's progeny, uh, if he can leave them like he is, uh, he, he, he'll do a fantastic job. And, Really excited to see them on the ground. Drivers who drove against him never took him lightly. Racing at Speed and Spur was, uh, it was always hard. He's one of those horses that has a step of speed and um, he always stuck his neck out the whole way but when it counted the line, made it very hard to get past. Um, a couple of times I, I, sort of had, I thought I had him beat halfway down but uh, he proved me wrong again so he was a great horse. He was owned by some sporting greats who know just how hard it is to be the best at what you do. Hey All Blacks and Wallabies fans, I've been really fortunate as part of Woodland Syndicate to have Speeding Spur on the books for a number of years. He was such a fantastic horse, won some big races, but the best thing I felt about him was the way he always backed up, never gave in and worked so hard right to the end no matter what's thrown his way in a race or before a race. What's exciting is there's some foals on the way and if they have any of that inspiration and ability that he's shown, I'm sure they're going to be fantastic horses, so look out for them. Hey all you Kiwis and Aussies out there, uh, and Alice here. Uh, I've been associated with Woodland Stud for about 10 years now, and it's been an incredible journey. Our syndicate has had some incredible horses. Um, one that stands out for me is Speeding Spur, or Del Boy we used to call him. Uh, raced in New Zealand's biggest races, uh, Australia's biggest races, headed off to the States, racing some huge races there. Um, I don't reckon there's anything like when your horse turns that last corner um, and you've got a part of it and you share it home and it wins big races. It's, it's an incredible thing to have. I think what's exciting too now is that Speeding Spurs got some foals out there, so looking forward to seeing those turn into some incredible racehorses too, which I'm, I'm sure they will. So anyway, just a shout out and um, hope everyone's well. Um, make sure you share the dream with Woodland Stud. We believe he will cross well with a range of trotting mares, but in particular Sundon, Majestic Sun, Armbro Invasion and Love You mares. He is standing for the full fee of 2,500 plus GST and 2,000 plus GST when a preferred semen base is used.